you want to go to 9th Mount Gilmer campsite. Once you are there, you want to get on a horse and then hop on this tornado type of lift. It will bring you to the top of a crater and then you want to hop down this protruding rock. This allows you to go down to this area and it will lead directly to the volcano manor there in the background. You just need to go through this door here and then uh, enter the next door and it will go to the volcano manor grace. Activate it and then you want to talk to the person seated on the right here. She is called Panic. Aren't you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us, against the Erd Tree. Agree to get the key. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Once you have the key, you can now go down to the hall behind you. And there should be a door to the right here you can use the key on. Next, you wanna use a weapon to hit the painting or bump into it. And it's a good idea to use a lantern because it's kind of dark. You want to turn left and go down the hallway here. And then you want to go down this flight of stairs and then there should be a bloodhound knight you want to fight. Bloodhound Claws is pretty powerful and causes bleed effect. Next you want to go down through the gates and then up these stairs. And then activate the Prison Town Church Grace. Okay, next you want to open the door. And you can go to the left and up the hill to look at this bridge. We are going to lift this bridge so we can come back and go across the bridge from the grace next time. So basically follow this path, jump on these roofs here and then hop down left uh, right here. And from here you can basically just keep jumping down on more roofs follow it and then jump off right here and then prepare to do a lot of rolls. So basically keep rolling, roll left here and then roll right here until you are on the shore. Uh, drink some potions and then continue up the cliff here, up the stairs and go up this lift. Next, you want to avoid this uh, enemy here and then you want to turn left here to push this lever and this will raise the bridge. Because you'll be fighting a sort of a mini boss, it's a good idea to lift this bridge so that when you die, you can use the bridge to go across and fight him again and again. 
without going through the past when we went down the lava. Okay, now, when you go through the doors here, you'll be fighting God Skin Noble. If it is difficult for you, you can summon real uh, players to help you. I have a video in my channel that shows you how to get that platinum paid hello and allows you to say hello. Okay, next is the boss fight of God's Skin Noble. For this fight, I use an ant spur right here. It causes Scarlet Rot. Once you have someone to help you tank, this boss is kind of easy. killing him you get the god skin stitcher and the noble presence next is to go to the nearby grace and activate it and hold up eye and ahead of you is a serpent's amnion To go to the next step, you want to go to the right here to a hidden lift. Just step on it and you should be able to go up. Next, you want to go outside on the balcony and then jump down to the lava area. Okay, next you want to follow the path I am showing. You can avoid these slugs by just jumping over them. You want to jump across here and then up this cliff. Next, you want to go through a window in the castle right here. Just go around this person here and then hop through this window and you should be able to go to a set of doors that you can open. Now you want to do some dodges to avoid this serpent and you want to run and dodge two more serpents here. If you keep rolling you should be okay. There's another set of doors here, you just want to open it. And there is a man serpent ashes here, you want to get. Next, you want to go up two flights of stairs. And then use the teleport. It will now take you to the audience pathway grace shown here on the map when you go through the mist you will fight the god serpent and when you kill the god serpent he transforms into Rykar the destination of this video okay please give video a like please subscribe and we'll see you next time